brothers and sisters of the electric web, yo. So I wanted to make an HTTP request from a C program, the C programming language, and I, I, I didn't find very much great information on how to do it on the internet, so I figured I'd put something out there. So this is how you make an HTTP request with C. So you're gonna need a C compiler, GCC or Clang. You can just do, you know, do a search on whatever search engine you like to figure out uh, how to install libcurl and how to install a C compiler. Just look up GCC install. It's, it's available everywhere too for every operating system and it's free. So anyway, let's get into this. So first of all, we wanna include the standard input and output library header file uh, in our program and then we also want to include uh, libcurl and that's just curl oh man I can't type right now curl slash curl dot h all right and then uh, let's get right into our main program here so okay so int main void so Curl um, is, is a nice, is with a lot of C libraries, I guess you, you'll find is, I mean, it has a lot of basically pre-built constants and variables that you can use. And then uh, we got our curl code. This is gonna be our response basically. So we're just saying, call that response. And then um, the next thing we want is, so this is one of the built-in curl uh, functions curl global init this initializes it and then it's got this um pre-built constant as well curl global all so that's all you need to do um to get it kind of started anyway that's that's the that's how you set it up and then uh, one more step here for that part curl easy init so that initializes it obviously and so we're just, you know, using this curl easy init function and uh, putting it, you know, initializing curl into the curl um, variable or pointer or whatever that is. And then from there, we're going to say if curl, so if it initializes basically, then here's what we want to do. Curl easy set options, set opt curl is going to be the first argument and that's going to you know that's what our what we just initialized there and then curl opt underscore url and we're going to um, tell it our url of our program uh, so i forgot to mention so what we're what i'm going to be using doing uh, the http request for is just a um there's a i found a website that does like a I don't know what this is, CZ Czechoslovakia or something. I don't know what it is, but it's um it's a church calendar for the um the church the year basically. So like it's it's got like you know saint feast days and holidays and all that kind of stuff on it. And so um, this is an HTTP request to there. It's an API. Um, this is the website, and then this is the you know API version zero. En means English. And then we're, um, this is, these are the parameters we're basically giving it here. We want calendars. Uh, we want the general English calendar. And we want for 2021 for March, the third month of the year. So, so we're basically going to get all the um, church calendar days and information on them for the month of March in the year 2021. Now that's the main chunk of our request there let's um next thing we want to do is get our response so response equals curl easy perform which is going to perform uh the uh it's going to perform the http request based on what we set for our options here with this function so curl Easy perform curl. Let me make sure I put. I haven't programmed in C a whole lot lately, so I'll probably miss a lot of these colons or semicolons. Okay. Response. And then we want if our response 
is good, uh, so we're gonna say, uh, or no, if it fails, if, so, and then there's this curl E okay, I think that's a curl easy okay or something like that. That basically is just a response saying, yeah, it, it, we're all good here. If response is not equal to okay, so if it's bad, then we want to print the standard error and we'll say request failed. Um, and then uh, this percent %s is the string thingy that we're gonna pass in here, which is the curl easy set opt, no, easy standard error, and then response. And then don't forget the semicolon. Okay, so uh, just to reiterate kind of what's, what's going on there, let me widen this up here. I tried to make the text big so it's easy to see for, you know, people on, you guys on YouTube, but uh, it makes it a lot of, have to move around a lot then, so I guess there's a balance. <laughs> um, so if, uh, if the response is the, a not okay response, then we want to print the error that said, you know, and just say request failed and the string, which is going to be the response, um, whatever the response string is. And maybe that's, I said standard error there, that probably is string error. So, okay. Otherwise, since we, uh, we're going to be getting a response from the, you could just leave it at that if you were just posting to a website, but this is actually, um, we want a response from the website. We want that list of, of calendar, uh, you know, information. So we want to handle that response. Um, so we're just going to print uh, the response and we'll just, you know, print it right to the terminal for now. We don't, I'm not going to do anything fancy. The whole idea of this video is just, you know, to show you the, the using libcurl inside of C to make an HTTP request. So, so that's, um, that's that part of it. And then, you know, if you're familiar with C, uh, there's always some cleanup. So let's, uh, let's see, curl, easy cleanup, which they make it nice and easy for you with the lib curl. And we want to clean up that. And then curl global cleanup. And that's just going to clean everything up. And we'll just return zero. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, we got to save it. So let's just save it to the desktop as um, req dot c. Something simple just because we're going to be typing it in the command line. So now we want gcc dash o. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. And then uh, req. So this is um, req is going to be the name of the, the, the program once it's compiled, right? The executable. And then uh, we got to tell it dot c, which is um, our file here that we that we're actually want it to compile and then dash l curl to tell it to use libcurl did i mess something up no okay we just got some warnings um but we i'm just going to ignore those for now um because you, you get you're going to get the basic idea here anyway so we look, we'll see that, that yeah, there's a rec right there. So let's, uh, let's run it. There we go. So we got this big ugly list. It's ugly in a terminal and we haven't done any formatting with it. It's just JSON, JSON, whatever you call it. And um, so it gives the date, the season. This is actually the season of Lent. Uh, this is the week of Lent, you know, it's, it says like celebrations and then it gives the celebrations the second week of Lent and then it ranks them. There's like different rankings, which is pretty cool. So you could like one thing I thought would be cool to do with this is would be, um, you can get, um, uh, what was it? Like a 1.3 is like a really pretty important date, like a 1.3 rank. And I know there were some in March. 
I'm like a, a saint. There's a Saint Joseph. Here, here's one. What is this? It's a solemnity, Annunciation of the Lord. So, I don't know. Anyway, you could you can have some fun with any any API really, right? So, um, this is how you do it. I'm also gonna put a link in the description to uh, GitHub pro a program that I have on GitHub uh, that's um, directed toward posting a uh, status update to Mastodon with using C. And that uh, that shows you a little bit extra than I wanted to show in this video because what that'll show you also is you can look in there and you'll see this same kind of stuff, but there's also a few things in there that are used to add the authorization token to the header of the HTTP request. So if you're looking for a little bit extra information, uh, you know, in the description, you can find that and uh, hopefully that'll help you out if you know, have any other questions. So if you, if you have any other questions at all, let me know, you know, comment or send me a message. And uh, if you like this video and want to see more of this kind of thing, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and um, thanks for watching. Peace out.